Hi there, welcome to the Perfume Experience. My name is Rodney and uh, we are back again today with another comparison video and one of the popular modern men's fragrances. We are talking about the Dior Swatch Elixir and it's a phenomenal fragrance and let's find out if we have a very good alt of it and also review the fragrance as well right after this intro. Welcome back. So Dear Suwaj Elixir is a new flanker in the series of Suwaj fragrances, but it is not like uh, the, you know, the previous Suwaj fragrances at all. It's a completely new fragrance, but has just got the naming convention under that series, which is Suwaj and Elixir. Right. So if you look at this particular fragrance, uh, you know, it's a very nice fragrance. It's a fragrance for specifically for a modern man. It's a very masculine fragrance. It's a fragrance for somebody who's looking for a beast mode kind of a fragrance. This is definitely for them. I have a 5 ml of a decant here with me and this is a really good juice from that point of view. Now this was created by the great perfumer Francis Demarche in the year uh, 2021 and after that it's been uh, uh, I think advertised by Johnny Depp mostly and you will kind of see it everywhere. Uh, you will hear a lot of uh, crackers today, today being Diwali so in case you're watching this uh, I think Diwali is already over but I still wish you a very very happy Diwali. Right, having said that, so this particular fragrance can be described in terms of its scent profile as a warm, spicy, fresh, spicy, uh, powdery, lavender, iris, that kind of a fragrance. It's a very, very beautiful, ambery, uh, that kind of a fragrance. But in terms of uh, notes, then, you know, when we look at the notes, it's a very different story that we kind of get. And let's look at the notes now. From a notes point of view, this particular fragrance has got a lot of sweet spices right at the top. Like you have nutmeg, you have cinnamon, you have cardamom and a little bit of a citrus element in terms of grapefruit. And then you also have a lavender, which is the heart note of this particular fragrance. And at the base is where a lot of magic happens. You have licorice, you have sandalwood, you have amber, you have patchouli and you have vetiver, right? Now, when you think about all of these, it kind of, you know, is very difficult to comprehend and understand how the scent profile of this particular fragrance works. Though you may say that this is a fresh, spicy, aromatic, warm, spicy, lavender, uh, that kind of a note. But it, the way you kind of, you know, put this on, it kind of really opens in a very, very different way. And this very beautiful from that point of view. So let me go by just two sprays. And whenever you put this particular fragrance on, on don't go more than four sprays. It Four sprays itself is a beast kind of a projection. Uh, if you're going more than that, you will actually choke people away. So, you know, be a little sensitive about that. Uh, but otherwise, you will absolutely enjoy this particular fragrance. Now, the moment you put this on, you get a very strong opening. It's a very loud uh, blast of a very warm, spicy kind of a note that you get. And I can say that this is mostly a blend between nutmeg, cinnamon and a little bit of that bergamot. That is what you will kind of get here. You don't get that cardamom notes most mostly. It's morely, uh, it's mostly the nutmeg and, you know, that opening up in a very, uh, you know, a strong way. The right at the top, you might feel that this has uh, got a little bit of... Um, uh, spicy opening so to say not very spicy but a medium spicy but after a few minutes the fragrance tones down and it starts becoming a little sweeter now the sweet element is actually not mentioned anywhere in this particular uh, scent profile but then you this is a profile that you actually get and this is a lovable profile of this particular fragrance the sweetness starts coming because of the cinnamon and i think the mixture of lavender that plays along very very well and immediately after about let's say about an hour's time you start getting that whiff of licorice uh, sandalwood that playing up uh, and it kind of becomes a very linear fragrance from then on but the dna is so very captivating it's a dna that's very easily recognizable uh, the dna is very unique in its own way and is going to get you compliments but at the same time it's also going to make people notice you okay so that's why I said you should go about with four sprays at maximum because more than that, it kind of becomes very, uh, you know, annoying for somebody else, especially who do doesn't like uh, strong fragrances. Or if you're with uh, somebody uh, with your partner and, you know, if that person doesn't uh, like strong fragrances or gets headache on a certain type of fragrances, then you might want to avoid this uh, more than four sprays. Okay. But otherwise, this is, uh, you know, fantastic in terms of a scent profile. So you will absolutely love this particular fragrance after a certain time where you will start enjoying that sweetness along with that little bit of that cinnamon little bit of that nutmeg and that lavender lavender isn't like uh, any of the uh, other lavender fragrances where the lavender is out loud no it's not in fact the way the blend is done is so beautiful that the sandalwood amber patchouli even the vetiver vetiver is not something that you will notice it by itself it's a very very beautiful blend so that way the dna is very very nice it's a 
uh, it's a fragrance that for me somehow reminds you a little bit of tobacco kind of a feeling probably because when you have things like nutmeg cinnamon and sandalwood coming together it brings up a different note profile altogether so the scent is really really nice it's a very masculine it's a very uh, unisex it's a very bold kind of a fragrance which anybody can wear and it can become a signature uh, you know uh, scent for many now having said that the highlight of this particular fragrance is of course its performance it's a beast mode fragrance like i said and a few sprays and you're good now most people say that they can get easily between 8 hours uh, i would say and a lot of people also say that you know uh, they can get about 12 hours as well but i would say that 12 hours could be an exception uh, it could also be depending on the kind of situation that you are in how we, uh, you know if there's a indoors uh, fragrance and so forth but I would say safely, safely you can easily get about 8 hours easy, okay? Now for the first 1 to 2 hours it's a loud projecting fragrance, after that you know there's a linear note that kind of continues which is the uh, sandalwood, uh, cinnamon and all of that and the uh, DNA of this, the uh, woody uh, base that you kind of you know get with the sandalwood along with that vetiver, amber and that licorice. Now licorice is is, is a note that is not um, you know very sweet, it can be, uh, it, it's, a, it's a gourmand note to some extent it's used in uh, you know making cakes and all of that but then i also say especially plum cakes or all of that uh, but then it's got that uh, black uh, tartness to it it's got a little bit of that um, uh, sweetness along with the tartness okay so it's a very very unique uh, element in it's used in chocolates or you know some kind of candies as well so it's a very nice uh, you know note that way so when that note comes with sandalwood and all of that it makes for a very very beautiful fragrance so like i said because of which the performance is like really really nice so you get a very good performance about 8 hours easy and like I said the projection is really really good. Now I think uh, uh, 100ml or 50ml I think is in the ballpark figure uh, of about uh, nine, uh, 19,000 roughly I would say. You know for uh, for a 100 ml I guess so I will check that but it's a pretty expensive fragrance so to say even a decant of 5 ml should cost you at least about uh, 1000 rupees uh, roughly so you know so it's a pretty expensive fragrance even though it's uh, it's a designer line from Dior it's very very nice that way it's a very good fragrance and it sells really really well as well right so having said that that's my uh, overview about this particular fragrance so who's it for it's for somebody who wants a beast mode fragrance who wants a loud fragrance somebody who wants to have a signature scent of your own and this is definitely fitting that profile when can you wear it it's in my opinion it's a good everyday uh, indoor wear and of course a fantastic evening wear uh, it will not work so very well in the daytime you know outdoors it might not be a very good fragrance might not open up that very well it might uh, uh, cause a little bit of inconvenience to others but then in the evenings i think this will work fantastic uh, especially in a party in a you know in a cold environment it can be your clubbing signature scent whatever right so it can really really work in the evenings now that's my uh, overview or review about the dear uh, swatch elixir line and when you think about the alts and let's talk about the alts now i have a few uh, so uh, I did have Fragley as well from the house of Fragley but then I'm not considering it because it's uh, not that great at this point of time. So I'll tell you which are the ones that I'm really considering. So one is of course Latafa Asad. Okay, this is a fantastic fragrance to be uh, considered for a uh, clone of uh, Elixir. I have uh, Scented Elix. Uh, I have Call of the Wild. Okay, so this is a 25 ml uh, bottle which is there. I have from Tanzu Fragrances, I have uh, Elixir, okay, that is another one. And then I have from the house of Yasmin, okay. So uh, these are the four alls, I don't have any other Middle Eastern alls at this point of time. So let's look at how they are and I've done a few uh, tests on this particular uh, fragrances, two sprays each twice. So I'll give you my uh, consensus right after. So now for the oils. So in terms of the oils, uh, the scent profile wise, if I were to start and if I'll start with the lowest performing ones probably. So the first or the lowest performing in my opinion is uh, from a scent profile point of view I would say uh, it would it can be um, Yasmin okay uh, the reason uh, actually I'm quite surprised with this uh, the reason why I give it the lowest is because the opening is very very different okay so in the opening that you get in this particular one you get a very uh, barnyard um, you know grainy earthy kind of opening which is more of the vetiver type of opening which is a very scratchy opening kind of view and I didn't really quite enjoy the opening on this particular one. Uh, after the opening, which is about 20-30 minutes time, then the DNA of, uh, you know, Suvaj comes into picture and then it is okay. But it primarily misses big time on that particular uh, opening and so uh, this is, uh, from a scent profile point of view, for me this is uh, a low. 
uh, Tanzu on the other hand um, is uh, is okay in terms of its opening okay but there is a strong alcohol blast that you kind of get and you know you, you uh, the opening is again uh, not as close as the OG so you know again this is okay right and so that way this also is not that great now the tie generally has been uh, really really well with these two fragrances so call of the wild for example uh, centedelic one is really really nicely capturing the opening uh, so what is different is uh, the uh, og is a little more denser in my opinion uh, and that uh, blend is really really out there it's like a 10 on 10 kind of a blend with the og but uh, Centralic is very very close to that uh, okay so there is a little bit of a miss that happens of course but then uh, you know in that way this is pretty well captured so the opening is good and that uh, element of that particular fragrance also is captured pretty well that sweetness that comes into the fragrance after some time in the OG is also pretty well captured that way and the DNA is really really good the performance also is decently well uh, but in mostly when you talk about the scent profile of the fragrance the call of the wild captures it pretty well that way this has got a good amount of marks in that particular category so Centrodelic does well when it comes to scent profile so the other one that I actually have is Asad so Asad actually is really really nice as well the only difference that I felt is when Asad uh, you know when you spray this on you kind of get a slight slight synthetic vibe right at the top okay aside to that yeah so you get a slight synthetic vibe and you feel a little bit of more of that bergamot note opening up but other than that this is really really well very well captured some people argue that this is an inspire inspiration of uh, elixir and not a clone i would say that this is actually a clone the reason being is uh, any clone cannot be a hundred percent you know of the original okay so this is also trying to do the same thing so it is trying to become the clone of that so it's not an inspiration in my opinion it's not a different scent or it doesn't have a different scent profile altogether no it is very much similar to the elixir itself the only difference is this is a little more sweeter than the OG okay so that is the only difference this is a little more sweeter and the sweet element also comes a lot more faster right so the the moment you spray this on you get that little bit of that synthetic vibe that i said and immediately after that you get that sweetness and that sweetness is a lot more sweeter than the og and it's faster aside to that there is no other difference the scent profile is good the performance is good everything is good about this particular fragrance so that way this is really really good in my opinion so the top spot in scent profile of course goes to uh, centrodelic the number two goes for um, acid so now when you talk about performance on this particular fragrance i would say tanzo has got the lowest performance about about five hours five and a half hours is what it's on your skin and it uh, projects okay okay not very great yasmin is slightly better okay it's close to about six hours i would say but then this also is projects well but I, like i said the opening note is slightly different so that's the reason why i was keeping it aside performance grades are both of these both are really really equally good you get about at least about seven eight hours easy seven hours easy you will get so that way this is really really nice so six to seven hours in my opinion should be an easy sweet spot for you on apparel and on skin probably slightly lesser on skin but apparel definitely a little more but equally scored both of them so i've given them a nine on performance on both right now um, i've also considered when i say let's say for example the value for money now when it comes to value for money the uh, part is this i think you should get about i think on amazon i saw the lowest being about 1840 so i think facebook sellers should be able to give you about 1600 1500 easily so for that price you get a 100 ml juice so this is the best in terms of value for money really really tops that list okay for the quality of the juice and everything the potency the presentation this is really really good second is uh second uh, of course you know you can consider these two because i think tanzu should be about 800 850 and i'm guessing even yasmin is about 800 850 for about 50 ml okay so that is also okay okay so they are also good value for money uh centedelic i think is about 1800 rupees on the website so after discount or after the sale or on fb i think you should be able to get it about 1600 or so so in spite of that this is more expensive than all of the others put together especially when you consider 50 ml so the lowest scoring in uh the you know uh, value for money category is uh, centedelic right if you look at presentation uh clearly hands down the best presentation is definitely uh asad the top class presentation that you kind of get with this the box is also very very good the bottle is also good the sprayer is good and the, the cap also is pretty tight you know it sits very firmly it's a nice bottle you know overall pretty good looking bottle very nice presentation uh centedelic has got a decent bottle it's got a good artwork at least on the 50 ml bottles this is a 25 ml one so you know definitely better bottles and good uh, artwork um 
I think these come in a straightforward simple bottle so presentation not so much here. With a lot of feedback I've been getting, uh, there is one particular feedback that came saying I should include um, a category called as quality of juice okay, to say what is the quality of the fragrance that you kind of get. So on that particular note, uh, definitely these uh, two are on the lower category I have given. Okay, so Yasmin is still okay, uh, Tanzu is definitely lower. But I would say top two categories, I would say Scentedelic is definitely much much better than uh, any of the other the four that I have here okay and uh, uh, Lataf is also pretty good but then like I said the right at the opening there's a little bit of that synthetic vibe that I got which is not the case in uh, Centrelix the Centrelix opening is very very smooth all throughout the fragrance smells nice and you don't have any of that itching or burning sensation anything of those in any of them right so that way this is really good so quality of fragrance I would say I would give it to Centrelix right so Centrelix is good in its uh, scent profile and it is good in performance and and it is good in uh, when it comes to quality while Asad is good is in, good in uh, performance it's good in scent profile it's good in presentation and it's good in value for money so it's actually a pretty tight uh, tight score and I will now tell you what are the overall scores and you know which is my pick for the top uh, you know uh, alt of Suvaj Elixir so overall when you consider uh, the, the entire scores from uh, scent profile performance presentation value for money and quality of the fragrance and everything so the uh, lower, uh, lowest are uh, these two, so Tanzo and Yasmin are pretty low on the ranking. Uh, the scoring is pretty competitive between these two. So Centrelic uh, gets a 43 uh, out of uh, 50 and whereas uh, uh, Latafa wins straight with 45 out of 50. Okay, so that's my scoring for uh, Latafa Asad. So in my opinion, uh, in terms of the parameters that I would consider, I think this Latafa Asad is a perfect or excellent alt of uh, Suvaj Elixir. It's a more value for money, more uh, beautiful bottle, very good juice quality and all of that. Uh, but if you were to look at from an Indian house point of view, definitely, you know, Scented Elix, the Call of the Wild is a beautiful fragrance. So if you were to consider between the two, again, depending on what your budget is, if you're looking for a good presentation, good bottle and more value for money, from point of view, then you should definitely consider Latafa Asad. It's a very, very good fragrance to consider. If you want a clone which is very close to the scent profile of Elixir and you're okay to pay a little more and you know get a really good quality juice and a good presentation as well then definitely consider Scented Elix uh, Call of the Wild which is really really good. Between the two if you were to consider one uh, Middle Eastern and one Indian and if you consider which is more closer to the scent I would say Scented Elix Call of the Wild is more closer to the OG in terms of uh, the scent profile and the quality of the scent. So this is going to be my pick for uh, the you know Suvaj Elixir uh, you know alt that we have from India and from Middle Eastern House. Like I said, you can definitely consider Asad, right? So that has been my quick review and a comparison about uh, doing Suvaj Elixir. I will be doing Bakarat Rouge next in terms of comparison video, and I have a lot of other videos coming. So you can see that there is a Spectre here, which is an alt of Nishane Ani. I will compare that with Nishane Annie and with Afia Meme which is also a very very good alt of Nishane Ani so that video coming up next hit the like button hit the subscribe button share your thoughts and comments and let me know what is your favorite alt of uh, Suwaj Elixir and I will try and do uh, get the Albate uh, version as well and try and compare that as well so on that note my name is Rodney uh, you're watching the perfume experience take care